It seems as if disturbing scenes like this are happening every week. Oh. Airline passengers in all-out brawls, oh, the fighting with cops, threatening fellow travelers, at times looking totally hammered. Do you mind me sitting down? Really no, I don't. Like this guy, who refuses to take his seat after allegedly consuming three Jack Daniels. No, you don't put your hands on my flight attendant. This guy was so drunk, he had to be dragged off the plane. Passengers pulled out their cell phones to document this woman, absolutely losing it over a glass of water. I asked for water. This woman's meltdown I dare you to hit me ends when she starts fighting with cops. Kara Mulder has been a flight attendant for eight years and runs the website theflightattendantlife.com. She says flight attendants are trained to de-escalate situations involving drunken passengers. So I'm belligerent. What, what's the first thing you do? I come assess the situation and see how you're doing. And you notice this right away. And Watch how she deftly confiscates the booze without causing a fuss. Or I want some wine. Yeah? Yeah. We have about two hours left in flight. I could definitely get you that in a little bit. Let me first grab you a water just so you don't get yourself dehydrated. As a last resort, flight attendants yeah. can use handcuffs or zip ties to restrain an unruly passenger. This is the final straw, obviously. Yeah. If someone seated near you is out of control, Kara has this advice. Yeah. Just say, hey, I'm gonna go use the lavatory. I'll be right back. So I should get up and go and go to the flight attendant. Flight attendants and pilots will also tell you there are certain air routes known in the industry for particularly rowdy passengers who drink to excess. There are the flights from the East Coast to Las Vegas. Every flight I've ever worked in Vegas, pretty much out of alcohol by the end of it. And any flight from the U.S. to Cancun, Mexico. Then there are the East Coast flights to Hawaii, 11 plus hours in the air, Apparently, some passengers want to get the party started early. People don't realize how alcohol will affect them in the sky. Like, it, it reacts with your body differently. Some good advice so you don't end up like this guy. Whatever you do is going on Facebook. 